Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I was so excited to make this tutorial today. If you follow Magpie on social media, you would have seen that they launched their brand new gel colour line at Pro Beauty in London. I am going to be doing a more in-depth video. I'm going to be doing a wear test and just to show you all the colours and what you get. I'm hoping to film that tomorrow, so hopefully that will be up very, very soon. The current collection is up for pre-order at magpiebeauty.co.uk but I will leave links in the description box below. So as you all know I am a massive fan of pink and purple so I am doing a pink and purple gel polish ombre today. So these are all the colours I used, so if you want to pause the video now and take down these names, then please do so. So I'm going to be showing you a sample nail today, and I'm using Loopy Lou and Dizzy Lizzy, and these are the two colours that I've currently got on my ring finger here, blended together. So these colours are so creamy and pigmented, they are just lovely to use. So this is Loopy Lou, a cerise pink, and this is Dizzy Lizzy, a really lovely bright violet. So I've just decanted the two colours into my thumb palette. And then you're going to be needing some sort of gel brush. I like the oval gel brush because you get a really nice line around that cuticle area. So I've just got a display tip here, but I am going to be showing you obviously on natural nails in another video. So what you need to do is just load up one side of your gel brush with the colour that you want on the left side and just apply this on half of the nail. And then you just need to apply your other colour to the right side and at this point we have done no curing or anything at the moment. These two layers are still both wet. And then just quickly clean off your brush on a pad soaked with IPA and then load up the brush with both colours on this time on each corner and then go in, still this is wet at the moment because we're still doing the blending and just keep going sort of to the left and to the right so these colours really nicely blend together. So once the first layer has cured you can go in with your second layer as before and just keep blending until you're happy. You don't really need to do any more than two layers because these colours are so lovely and pigmented. Once your second layer is cured you can go in with the Magpie Let It Shine top coat and then you're done. But I am going to add some glitter just to see how this looks. So I'm going to use Magpie Blossom which is really versatile because it's iridescent and it's really really fine. It's one of the finer um, glitters that Magpie do. So I'm just applying this with the applicator brush and then I go in with the duster dust off the excess and then I'm going to go in with the Magpie Let It Shine top coat and cure. So this is the finished gradient nail with Blossom and it is beautiful. There's just such a rainbow of colours popping out of this nail. It is gorgeous. I think I might have to do something like this next time. So I'll leave you with some pictures of my gradient that's on at the moment guys and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!